Zoe Anastasia, and today we're gonna upcycle an old sweater into a brand new beanie. This is a great project to create and gift. This also makes a great project that you can make a matching beanie for all of your outfits. How cool would that be if you went into your closet and you had a matching beanie for every winter outfit? What? If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notified every time I create a new video. And I have videos coming out every single week. Supplies for this project are very minimal. You're gonna need one sweater that you want to chop up. So I'm choosing a sweater vest. You're also gonna need matching thread. You're gonna need a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors. And I'm gonna be using a pair of unicorn snips today to cut all of my little threads. You're also gonna need a pattern to create your hat. Now this pattern here, I have designed and created myself. So it's an Anastasia Chatska original. You can get this pattern from my website and the link's down below. When choosing a sweater, it's really important to look for one that has a thick rib knit at the bottom because this is gonna end up being the bottom of our hat and you want it to have maximum stretchability. The first thing you need to do for this project to prepare is cut open your sweater. So you wanna take one of the side seams and cut it all the way up. And if you've got a sleeve, cut your sleeves all the way open too, so that way you can lay it nice and flat. So I'm gonna cut right up the side seam of the sweater. Since there's a seam here, I also want to cut here so I have less seams in my hat. And since this is a sweater vest, I only have to go so far. I'm also gonna cut open the shoulder so that way my sweater can lay completely flat. There we go. Now we have this giant piece of knit fabric to lay our hat pattern on. When positioning your pattern, you wanna make sure that the straight edge of the pattern is gonna be at the hem of your sweater because this is gonna be the band that's on the top of your head. So we want this to be the very bottom. So we wanna pull our flat edge all the way down and make sure it's nice and straight and then you can put some weights on it. But let's say you wanted a slouchier hat. You could actually bring this hat pattern up and not cut off the bottom and then you would end up with a couple extra inches at the bottom of your hat. But I'm gonna bring mine all the way down to the edge of the rib knit and weight it. Now that we have our pattern laid out and our weights placed, Grab your rotary cutter or scissors and let's cut it out. So just go right along the edge of your pattern. Be careful not to cut your pattern. You always wanna make your cuts very precise. We're all cut out, so let's take our sweater off and reveal the pattern. Voila! Now that we have it all cut out, let's go over to the sewing machine. Today we're going to be using the Designer Epic 980Q. Today I'm using the Husqvarna Viking Epic 980Q. You can use any sewing machine that has a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch. The first thing we're going to do is stitch together the side. So I've placed right sides together and we're going to stitch together this long side. We're gonna go ahead and use a half inch seam allowance so that half inch is gonna be on your plate or make sure you measure over a half inch to the right from your needle. We're gonna be using a straight stitch. So make sure you have your machine set to a straight stitch. Don't forget to back stitch. Make sure your edges stay lined up. You could use pins. Make sure you back stitch at the end and cut. Make sure to clip all of your threads. And you can clip your thread nice and close to the surface of your project. Okay, so next we need to zigzag the edge together because this knit is gonna unravel and fall apart. And we wanna have this hat forever because we're making one to match all of our outfits in our wardrobe. So quality is everything. So let's zigzag. When selecting a zigzag stitch for this step, I like to lengthen it and widen it so that way it's covering most of the seam allowance. So I want my 
zigzag stitch to cover most of my seam allowance so that way my big open weave in this knit isn't gonna fall apart. If you use a really small zigzag stitch, it might not catch all those frayed cut edges that we created. So this is acting like a serge. So if you have a serger, you could totally use a serger right now on this step as well. So we're gonna start at the edge and we want the zigzag stitch to go on the fabric and off the fabric so that way it is binding the edge of these raw edges. Make sure you back stitch. Make sure you back stitch at the end and cut. Now you can see our nice zigzag bound edge. Going forward, every time we create a straight stitch, we're gonna go back and zigzag the edges together. And it's important to do this sequentially. Now that we have this side sewn up, we're gonna go through and sew up the rest of the raw edges. So the next raw edge, we're gonna sew this one together. And then we're gonna go to the raw edge on this side and bring the next one to it. And then we have two more raw edges, and those are gonna come together. And then, you're gonna have a hat. Now I'm ready to sew the next set of edges together. So I have a straight stitch set, and we're gonna go ahead and go through the same process. And when we get to the end here, you wanna make sure that you blend off really nice like you're creating a dart. Back stitch, and then lift up and cut. Now we're gonna go back and zigzag this edge together. Make sure you back stitch and cut. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to these last two edges. We're gonna fold this flap up Sew this curve, and then fold this edge together, and sew this curve, and then we're done. Make sure you back stitch at the end and cut, and we are done. Okay, we finished our hat. Now what we wanna do is go back and trim any threads that you see. So the last thing you wanna do is try on your hat and end up with thread in your hair when you take it off. Not cool. Okay, we are looking good. Okay, we're ready for the big reveal. We are gonna turn it right side out. Check out our new beanie, so cool. Okay, let's put it on. Check it out, I've got a new red beanie upcycled from a sweater vest. So all those crazy sweater vests you keep seeing at the thrift store, snag them and make them into hats. Thanks so much for watching Sew Anastasia today. I hope you had fun upcycling a sweater into a beanie with me. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can check out all of my other videos that come out every single week. Get inspired and keep on sewing. If you haven't seen my Patreon lately, hop on over to Patreon and check out all the ways you can help support Sew Anastasia. And follow me on Instagram in the studio at Sew Anastasia and Anastasia Chatska. And if you're in Chicago, come take a sewing class with me. You can sign up at SewAnastasia.com. Or I would love to make you a custom garment. Maybe something cute like the skirt I have on right now. Who knows? Thanks so much for watching. Bye.